Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. Hunter's Point here with another video, another snowy day in uh, central Missouri. But I had a message that the Lord's been kind of slowly but surely laying on my heart these past couple days. You know, we've seen an increase in rapture dreams and tribulation dreams as well as, um, you know, open visions regarding pregnancies. And you know, I just feel the sense of urgency to get the truth of the gospel out there and to try to help people understand just how little time we have. I mean, when you look at all the signs that have happened, whether it's earthquakes, wars and rumors of wars, I apologize for the dog, <laughs> wars and rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, I mean, you're seeing pestilences with this coronavirus, you're, you're seeing everything as written in Matthew 24 just come to life right before our very eyes. And those were what Jesus were comparing to birth pangs upon a pregnant woman. He says that... You know, as a, as, a, as a woman's pregnant, she'll experience birth pangs that increase in both frequency and intensity until the baby comes. Well, likewise, when you see all the events listed in Matthew 24 and, and, and John, you know, John 14 talks a lot about Jesus' love and, and that he's the only way to heaven. But when you see a bunch of these signs in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John start to happen with greater intensity and frequency... Just know that that means that Jesus' return to rapture his church is close. Perhaps it's even at the door. Uh, but I just wanted to really let you all know how easy it is to go to heaven. It really is easy. It's not difficult. People try to make, the, you know, it seem like you have to do a buttload of works. And you have to do a, a, a checklist of things to go to heaven. But it's really as simple as believing, right? You know, even during uh, you know Jesus' time and the time after Jesus, people were just like, what must we do to be saved? Well, Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's as simple as your belief. Your belief is your ticket to heaven. And, and what you do with your belief in this lifetime determines rewards, right? Fellowship with Christ, a personal relationship with Christ. But the gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. The gospel is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. You believe that in your heart you are saved and you're going to heaven. Whether you die or the more likely outcome, the rapture of the church, which is a pre-tribulational event because the Bible says we're not appointed to wrath. So the rapture is very, very imminent. And as long as you believe that gospel, you are rapture ready. Right? We're not perfect, right? Obviously, we're, we're, we're sinful in nature. I mean, we're in the flesh. You know, what more, you know? I mean, we're carnal in nature, right? The Bible says that no one is righteous, not even one. So don't let those law keepers try to tell you that you're not going to heaven because you're not righteous enough. That's not what it's about, right? The Bible says we're saved by grace through faith, right? Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace are we saved through faith. And that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's our belief that gets us there. It's not, you know, works determine fellowship and, you know, and rewards. It, it's not a salvation thing, right? Salvation is grace through faith. And believing that gospel is our ticket to heaven. But I feel an urgency like never before to really get the truth of the gospel of grace out there. And if you believe that gospel, not only are you saved and indwelled with the Holy Spirit... But the Bible also says you're sealed until the day of redemption, which is Ephesians 4.30. The day of redemption, I believe, refers to the rapture of the church. So just understand the rapture is very imminent. Christ is coming back to take his church, right? And tribulation will follow suit. I mean, we think our world's bad and wicked now. Like, you know, this is only going to be a walk in the park compared to the tribulation period of seven years. You know, and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into that whole debate on whether there's a gap between the rapture and the tribulation. I think it could go either way. I think there could be a gap, but it also wouldn't shock me if there wasn't. Because, the, you know, the Bible says that the tribulation starts with Daniel 9.27, right? The seven-year covenant. But I just wanted to get that out there. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today and you will be saved. Genuinely in your heart, believe. If you believe, you are saved today. And you will be saved tomorrow and the day after. You will be saved forever. Amen. So I hope this message was a blessing to you. It's really cold. Um, but I love the snow. What can I say? So rapture's imminent, guys. Accept Christ today if you haven't. God bless you.